Give me that thing and we're out of here. I don't think so. Give it to me. I'll get help. No, everyone, just stay put four minutes. Hang on to it. We'll take it to the office. No, Christine, there's something I have to do first. You know, you must really enjoy getting your ass kicked. Ted, uh... no, not this time. Ted, Phil, you guys are going to okay, listen. Okay, Brian, quit the tough guy act and give me the grenade. Whoa! What are you doing? Well, this is a first. I am not intimidated by you or Ted anymore. Well, you won't always have that grenade. Exactly. You guys are gonna listen to me now. Ted! What's my name? Is it Geek, Dork, Faggot, or is it Brian? Oh, man, it's Brian! The Monday I earn after school, who does that belong to? Look, we're just fooling around. You think you guys are better than me? What makes you think it's okay just kick me around? Well, stop. But why? Why me? Because you take it. I don't want to take it! I'm out in the hallways all the time having conversations with kids, trying to be visible. And um, during those conversations, kid, kids talk about the impact that it's made. Um, and then I think even more powerful is as the kids get older, I had a conversation actually with some seniors who are my mentors who, who got to see the play again this year. And I think that the older they become, the more powerful the play that they saw three or four years prior really, that, that, that impact carries through. First of all, I think these are really top-notch teen actors. Like, it's really become sort of a hot thing to be a part of. So you get some excellent kids auditioning, and um, they're very believable. Even as a parent, we, don't, we are not in the halls of the schools. We are not at the parties at night. So that show gives you a real opportunity because the kids have so much input into how the show is put together. I think we're getting like a, um, a little insight to what really goes on. Some students, if I have a really strong relationship with them, sometimes they come into my office and have a chat with me about, my friend has a friend like that one we saw, or sometimes it's, well, I'm having this problem. They will often confide about how they relate to the play and how it's been meaningful or it's helped them open their eyes or help them point out to a friend that, you know, this isn't so cool. I've seen different kinds of relationships at my school, some where people cheat on other people. Not much like physical abuse, but more, more like mental abuse because that's more common usually. But I've always like wondered like, what should I do in these situations? And now this has helped me to, de to decide what I, what I could do, what I should do, and what I will do. I'm not that much different from my character, Brian. I, get, I used to get bullied a lot in middle school. It helps me gain confidence. It helps me be able to figure out which friends I want to really have as friends. It helps me figure out relationships. Helps me even figure out how to be nicer to my mother and father. It is just such a great program that really can help everyone learn how to treat others. It's been a part of my life for over three years now, and it's just, it's been such an incredible experience. I've made some of my best friends and just really, really learned a lot. It's given me an opportunity to combine two of the things I really love, which is getting involved in community service and also the arts. And I think it's just brought them together in an incredible, incredible program that can reach people in ways that um, other programs can't do because they don't have that combination.